Remembering to press record at the beginning of stream like a legend. <clears throat> Here we go. It's really loud though, hold on. There we go. Alright, I don't remember what our goal for this week was. Oh yeah, and I'm not like... I, I really don't mind that I don't have, you know, 50,000 subs. That I don't care. <clears throat> I just like hanging out with you guys and <laughs> playing video games. I don't know. Oh my god, this game is so fun. I absolutely adore it. Oh! And the glow of the blood-stained moon shines upon the land. The aimless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. The world is threatened once again. Yeah, oh my god, I am so obsessed with this game. It is so freaking good. I love it. I love it so freaking much. <coughs> Alrighty, um... Uh, do we have enough? <coughs> well, I like hanging out with you guys. Ah, oh, we've got three. Damn it, we need one more! Alright, uh, actually, hold on. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, we were in the depths last time, weren't we? Hold on, uh... The Yiga clan, yeah! Oh, right! That's right, we wanted to- uh, I don't know if I'm gonna go to the third mine quite yet. <clears throat> An eerie voice. Let me see, potential princess sightings. Visiting stables, yeah. Uh, restoration project. Do we want... Maybe we'll go to Lurlin Village? I feel like... <clears throat> I feel like... Sh sure, why not? Let's let's go to Lurlin. Yeah, it's insane, Violet. And then up in the sky, there's a bunch of freaking... There's a bunch of stuff going on in the sky, too. It's three times the size, just about. It's incredible. <clears throat> yeah, we'll see if I can do voice acting today. Breath of the Wild was the start of my voice acting. For fun. I didn't voice act anybody officially <laughs> or anything. Uh, but it was a lot of fun. All right. <clears throat> Let's see what we need. Oh, this is my first big job in a while, and I'll admit, I'm absolutely thrilled to be getting back at it. Now, which building should we work some magic on? Let's do another home. <coughs> Army's home is the only one that still needs fixing. Mm. Army's house is there. I recall Armus said he wanted a spot outside to display his biggest catches. Mm. <clears throat> Why don't we relocate to Armus' house for a bit? It'll be easier for me to explain what we need to do. Oh, oh, oh. Okie do. Please follow me. Yeah, basically three maps now. <clears throat> ah. All right, here we are. Oh. <sighs> Hmm. The central pillar is broken, so we have to repair it pronto. I already shored up the building's foundation using the logs you collected for me. So if we can place a log from a palm tree through the holes in the roof and the floor, like I mentioned, that should do it. Ah. Oh. When you pick a palm tree log, just make sure it's a straight one. You and me, pal. Let's return to these these places to their former glory. I. Oh, it needs to be a straight one, huh? Well, I got that. <clears throat> this one's straight, right? No. This one is ah, straight enough. <laughs> uh, 
Alright, let's get up here. It'll be easier. I couldn't have found a better pillow to hold up this place myself. Just leave the rest to me. I'm on it. <laughs> okay, I'm not singing this song. <clears throat> see before you is the work of a true craftsman. Hmm? Oh, my house is fixed. You fixed it. Thank you. Oh, I can finally get back to making a living. Oh, I'm, I'm really sorry I wasn't any help. Please take this as a kind of apology. Ah. Now I can go fishing again. You know, I don't really need very many fish to feed myself, so I share the extras I catch with other folk. <laughs> I usually save them for the people here in the village, but I really owe you for fixing my house. I, if I have extras to share, I'll put them in front of my house. Please take whatever you need. <clears throat> Alright. Ah. Hey, hey, this is no time for resting on laurels. There's work to do, and it ain't doing itself. Look, you and me, we're beasts of construction. We'll have this village put back together in no time. Alright, let's do it. <clears throat> ah. Uh, we fixed up all the houses. Now, time to move on to the establishments. Which one should we start with? The inn. <clears throat> We're rebuilding the inn, are we? <clears throat> ah. The inn is over there. It's known far and wide for its salt spa. They use herbs and whatnot to soothe travelers' sore and weary muscles. Mm. Let's move over to the inn so I can do a better job of explaining what we need to do, okay? Oh, 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 oh. oh Kido, please follow me. <clears throat> In the books. Awesome. Oh, yeah? Well, that's nice. All right, here we are. Mm. As you can see, the frame and the central pillar managed to hold up just fine. But if you look inside, you'll see there's a puddle of rainwater. Getting rid of the water won't be difficult, but the junk in there is a hazard and will make it impossible for me to work. Mm. I don't want to damage the framing, but since we're lucky it's intact, we're not sure how to get rid of that debris. <clears throat> it won't be easy, but I think we're going to have to pull it out piece by piece from above. Mm -hmm. Once all that junk is gone, I'll start re the rebuilding work right away. It will look incredible. I... I'm on it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. 
Alrighty, so... Oh, you know what I probably need to do? No. I think I know what I need to do. I think I actually need to bring this stuff back up. I'm betting someone got rid of all that junk. That someone is you, by the way. Just leave the rest to me. I'm on it. Some of my finest work, if I don't say so myself. The owner could move back in any old time. Oh, oh, what's going on? I thought the pirates destroyed my place. But here it is, good as new. <coughs> oh, you two rebuilt it, didn't you? I was hiding out in the Gerudo region in the southwest, but it's just sand as far as the eye can see. I missed the ocean so much. I had to come back, and then I found this. I can't believe my inn is all fixed up. I'm stunned. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. I really must give you a thank you gift. A vault fruit. Oh. I haven't <laughs> been to the desert yet. Oh, I brought this back as a little treat for everyone. Please come by and enjoy our famous salt spa. No time to waste. The inn is open for business as of today. <clears throat> oh, ho, ho. Ah. Hey, hey, this is no time for resting on laurels. There's work to do and it ain't doing itself. All right. All right, give me one sec. I want to look in here. Welcome. Oh, this is so cute. Oh. <clears throat> This is a nice, cozy place. Where's the spa? Is it outside? <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> mm. We fixed up all the houses. Now time to move on to the establishments. All right, let's do the restaurant. Ah. Oh mm. yeah. The restaurant is over there. Azure Bay is known for its incredible cuisine, you know. They offer dishes from all over the world. Mm. How about we relocate to the restaurant? <laughs> I would go to a place like that. Hell yeah. Oh. Oh, all right, here we are. Hmm. And the central pillar is broken, so we have to repair it pronto. All right. <clears throat> Oh. Oh, uh, so this is it?
might actually have to stack these guys up so that I can even woo, so that I can even reach it. Blah. No, <laughs> go around. <coughs> oh, thank you. Thanks, Bacon. Ah. Thank you very much for the sub, Bacon. I've been all right. Busy, but good. Oh. I just wants me to push them. Can I not climb? Hey, no. Found a better pillow myself. You should try tea tree on your head if you have, but don't do pure tea tree oil. That will hurt you. Uh, mm -hmm. Use a carrier oil like jojoba oil, or find a product that has tea tree oil in it. But I feel like probably just using actual tea tree oil is better than a product. So I would recommend getting jojoba oil and tea tree oil, and then using mostly jojoba oil and then adding in like a few drops of tea tree oil to spread all over your head. <coughs> Why would pure tea tree oil hurt? Uh it's a very, very, very potent essential oil. It could it could cause more damage than good. It could burn you. <laughs> Could, it could Mama. be bad. <clears throat> Get a load of my handiwork. Talk about a perfect restoration job. The old building skills are still sharp as nails, baby. Now all we have to do is wait for the owner to return and... Whoa! Whoa. Am I dreaming? Ah! Wow! But it was all broken before. Wah! Look, Suda! Our house? It's all better, too! Ooh, I just came to check on my restaurant in my house. I was so worried about them. Was it... was it you? Did you fix them? Ooh. Thank you so much. Please, I want you to have this. Exactly, Violet. <clears throat> Sounds about right, Schnitzel. Of all the dishes we serve at our restaurant, this is the one I'm most proud of. Please stop by any time you're hungry. I'll treat you to meals, and the likes of which you've never tasted before. Hi! As of now, Azure Bay is open for business! <clears throat> ah. Alright, I guess it's just the one final- I want to take a look though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, ooh, come on. There's nothing wrong with products that have um, that have tea tree oil in them. I just feel like they might not be as strong as. Um... Oh, this is a freaking nice house. It might. It just might not be as strong. Oh yeah, Violet. <coughs> Use them to make candles, that's awesome. The lucky treasure shop is the only one that still needs fixing. Ah. The lucky treasure shop is over there. It's a charming spot that beguiles travelers with a treasure game that, rumor has it, no one ever loses. Mm. How about we head to the lucky treasure shop? Oh. 
Oh. All right, here we are. Hmm. A palm tree grew through the roof on the second story. It was a bit of a landmark, actually. But, well, the damage is worse than I thought. I rebuilt the foundation using the logs you collected for me. Mm. But this building is so big that rather than connecting the roof and floor, the palm tree log should go in the plant pot on the second floor and then up through the hole on the roof. Oh. But when it comes to selecting a good palm tree log, make sure you get yourself a straight one, okay? You and me. La 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 la. <coughs> So it has to go into the pot. <clears throat> oh, thank you. for the sub, my dude. <laughs> found a better pillar to hold this place myself. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I don't I haven't made candles, so I don't know. Eh, it's fine. My hair growth regrowth is super super. That's good. I'm glad. I need to grow <gasps> my hair too. <laughs> I'm going to be using a combination of, of oh, oils oh, 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 oh. and microneedling for my scalp for my hair growth journey. <clears throat> Ma oh, yes, it's perfecto. It's the biggest building in this village, so returning it to its former glory wasn't easy, but the owner is going to love it. Oh? Whoa, 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 whoa. What exactly is going on here? I was sure the monsters had done my shop in. Oh. I had heard the pirates were gone and I came running. I can't believe I can open my shop again. I never thought the day would come. Ah. Well, this place means everything to me. My old man, rest his soul, left it to me. Here, please have this t to thank you. Uh, take this. <clears throat> Microneedling is basically uh, putting micro needles into your skin to stimulate like collagen and follicle growth and whatnot. So you can use it to get rid of scars, you can use it to grow hair. You should look into it. It's interesting stuff. <clears throat> I picked several of them while I was hiding out. I was planning to throw them at the pirates, but there's no need for that now. Because of you, the lucky treasure shop is back in business. In fact, you don't even need rupees. You can be broke and still come in and try your luck. Doors are open starting now. Bolson, is this true? Ah. You bet it is. Every last building in the village is as good as new. <laughs> Incredible. How could I ever thank you? And to think you restored the village so quickly. A feast is most certainly in order tonight. 
Whoa! Did you hear that? A feast! He said a feast is in order! Oh dear, you think I should change my outfit? Yes. Pretty much, kinda. Kinda, Violet. And then it makes your skin kind of like fill in the gaps. It forces it to heal, so it repairs. And, and it stimulates collagen growth, which you kind of stop producing new collagen when you're like between the age of uh, like 25 and 28. So I'm 30 now. So gotta do something about that. <laughs> it also works on skin for getting rid of like wrinkles and stuff. And like if you have saggy skin, you can microneedle over it and it'll tighten your skin. It's kind of like a life hack, and it actually has an awful lot of, like, studies and scientific backing to prove that it actually works. <clears throat> the day the pirates attacked and overran the village, I was so desperate to get everyone to safety. Before I knew it, our beloved home was gone. After everyone fled, the only sound coming from Lurlin village was the sound of monsters. I never thought, I never dared dream... I'd love to see the day when we could all laugh together like this again. Ah. This moment, right now, it's all thanks to you. And of course, I'm extremely grateful to Bolson as well. Ah. No, no. There's no need to thank me. After all, when I first drifted into this village, you all welcomed me with open arms, didn't you? Well, the work I did here, it's just oh. my way of thanking you. Oh, Bolson, thank you. <clears throat> this village owes you a debt. In fact, I think it's safe to say you are this village's savior. Ah. Now, I talked about this with the rest of the folks around here. And we don't have enough money or treasure to repay you for saving our home. Ah. But the treasure we do have, well, it's this village and everyone in it. So from now on, we'll do everything we can to share our hospitality with you. For the village savior, I'll provide a bed free any time. Ah. You're also welcome to eat at the restaurant as much as you like. Free of charge, of course. Ah. Uh, the village's savior might not need to test his luck, but I'm sure it'd be fun to play a treasure chest game once in a while. Oh. Please feel free to take anything you find in the village. Maha! Oh. I'm awash in emotions. I can't hold it back anymore. Oh, <laughs> Zutokinov. Oh. Look lively. It's time for the... Lurlin Revival Dance. I recommend the pen. The roller causes a little bit more damage than you'd like. Because with the roller, the needles go in and come out on an angle. And if you have the pen, it just goes straight in and out like a tattoo gun. So it causes minimal, like, stretched damage. Just very clean, thin needles going in. So I recommend the pen. <clears throat> hey, man. What's up? And I understand that. Well, I usually prefer to start with toilet paper and then use a wet wipe. That helps. I don't know, but... You can stay for free. Can I? Well, there we go. We're all done with Lurlin. Thanks for the tip. Yeah. Like, using the derma roller on like body scars isn't so bad but if you're gonna do more sensitive skin like your scalp or your face the pen for sure but you can probably get away with using a derma roller on like the rest of your body oh this this chat's nothing but strange <clears throat> yeah well don't flush them that's why you use it after and then you have a garbage designated for that kind of stuff that you empty frequently <laughs> So it's not a, like, biohazard.
Actually, no, something different. Yeah, do not flush those, <laughs> by the way. All right, my dudes. I guess there we go. <laughs> oh, we need to do more. Uh, an eerie voice. <clears throat> you know what we should do? We should find the tower in this area. Cutie. Nah. Not for a woman. Woman, it's always front to back. Always front to back. <clears throat> Not looking to get an infection. <laughs> Oh, I know all about that. Part of the reason why we had to wear this funny thing called PPE. <laughs> that was pretty good. So man, it's kind of like a short form of it then. Roman. Cooter free. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> I 
I think that's the tower over there. Oh. <laughs> I'm not always that great at dodging stuff. Let me tell you. <clears throat> Overnight oats! That sounds fun. I need to get more yogurt. I'm all out of yogurt right now. I'm almost just about out of berries, too. I, uh... I'm really sad. <laughs> Got tons of hemp seeds left, but no, no berries. Right. There we go, let's go. Hey! Yeah, I, uh, sometimes, sometimes it turns out perfect. Usually it does not. I usually get like uh, the berry mix of like strawberries, blackberries, uh, raspberries, and blueberries. <clears throat> Although if I could find one without strawberries, that'd be really cool. I like strawberries, but the bag is always like almost all strawberries, and I would like a little bit more of the other berries. What are you doing down there, weirdo? And also, what's going on down there? It's not too far. <laughs> Some Korok baloney. <laughs> oh, I bet I have to follow those arrows until I find other ones. Oh, look, that tree's running around down there. That's cute. Oh, there's bees down there. <coughs> there's a lot of bees down there. Oh my gosh, There's this is all a whole bunch of bees. All these trees have bees. Let's get the fuck out of here before we die. Not a big fan of almond milk. I don't know. <coughs> I mean, to be fair, I've exploded myself multiple times, Bridges. You can't hype me up too much. <clears throat> Alright, what the fuck is up here? Hopefully this thing works. milk and almond? I mean, you know. Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> oh, it's fucking raining! That's- Oh! I was gonna say, what's going on here? That's right, I'm stupid. Oh, which means I probably can't climb up here, too. Hold on a second. <clears throat> Told y'all I'm dumb. We can probably glide from up there. <clears throat> Soy is a kind of bean.
I like soy sauce though. <laughs> soy sauce is good. Teriyaki sauce is the shit. <clears throat> Oh, man. I wonder if I can, like, protect it. Hudson construction. Ten pieces of wood. 120 rupees. It was cold from the rain, so we used them to warm up. Nobody called that a waste. 100 rupees. We need a few more tents to keep the luggage in the fire. Okay. <coughs> so... What? Do I have to build like a rainproof thing? Hold on. Cow's milk? I mean, I don't drink it, but I will have like cream. Oh. I will have cream in my coffee. But I'm not like a milk drinker. <laughs> Only from brown cows. I've never had raw milk. I'm lactose kinda tolerant. I used to actually be very lactose intolerant. I used to not even be able to eat pizza and I wanted to die. <coughs> it made me so sick. I don't... I don't remember what changed. One day I just all of a sudden could have milk again. It's kind of crazy. I think I know what I have to do, actually. <coughs> I might be totally wrong. I was right! <laughs> I did not think that was gonna work! <laughs> That's crazy! What the heck? It's time. I'm not always right. <clears throat> oh, 
yeah, very uh, dry cheeses are where it's at. <clears throat> Say it with enough confidence and you can be wrong and still be right. True. <clears throat> All right, where are we headed? Over here, I guess. And dirt. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I'm pretty. I'm pretty content to play it just like on my Switch. <laughs> okay. I would love to be able to get over. Oh, that's definitely a boss. By the way. Yeah, I'm playing it on my computer monitor. Cool. Yeah, is that so? Well, I don't have a boss. That's a big bad guy. Is he though? <gasps> there should be- <laughs> Seek the crystal connected to the beam and offer it at the shrine. Do so and I will grant. You know what that means, dudes. <clears throat> we gotta actually fight this boss. Okay, there we go. 
Uh, do we? Oh, weird. <sighs> Where are the other construct parts then? Why is it being so freaking weird? Oh, do we just not have any? Oh, here they are. Oh. All right. <clears throat> I don't know if I have enough. <laughs> what do we get? A cannon! A Zonai device that fires shots in intervals. The shot explodes when hitting the target. It's a powerful device, but can- Oh! A light. A Zonai device that can bring some light to dark places. Okay. Small w Oh! I can make vehicles now. Oh, that's so cool. <clears throat> Damn, man, they really want me to get fucked up, huh? They're like, hey, you see this boss? Fight it. Fair enough. Fair enough. That's what I have to say to that. Just wondering if I can even fight this guy. I'll just have to save, I guess. I usually fight these guys like a pussy. Like, I, I always hide. Oh, I guess I can use those jumping devices to get above them and then shoot arrows down at them, right? I just need more arrows. Oh, nothing. Ugh. Come on. There we go. Every arrow is valuable right now. I'm gonna save out of pure fear. I'm showing my age. Wait, what? Was there something down there? I feel like there might be something underneath here. That's just crazy. <laughs> All right, one last save. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was born after 1990, so whatever that means. Oh, I don't have enough bows to freaking fight this guy. Shit, I'm gonna have to come back. Hmm. I need more bows. <clears throat> oh, give me one sec. Oh, shit. Is he gonna come over here? Nope. Get fucked. Give me one moment. I love the music. Mm. 
Okay, cool. Alright, crisis averted. I was running out of space on my hard drive, apparently. <clears throat> Is there something down there? Or? No, it doesn't really look like it. <clears throat> Yeah. Okay, um, let's see. <coughs> you know, we could just jump into the depths from here. we get there oh I don't know whoa okay crazy so I want to get to that shrine over there I guess we'll wait on the depths or not shrine but um I want to get to that that crazy guy over there Oh, hey, dragon. Whoa. Question is, how are we going to get over there? Because I'm not going to be able to glide the whole way. I guess we just kind of get as close as possible. And then just hope. Wow, look at this place. This is crazy. This world is super cool. What's that fucking donut down there? I don't even know. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to let go soon. Oh, you know what? There's a shrine right here. We haven't gotten this one yet, right? Hello? I was pressing X! I was literally- I pressed X and it did nothing. Motherfuck. I literally pressed X. There was stamina left. Come on. <clears throat> Whoa. I'm good. I don't I don't need to collect those. I do need to get over here though. This is cool. <clears throat> a lot of crazy stuff over here. Yeah, this was a much more efficient uh, way to come down. Oh. 
Yeah. <clears throat> Hell yeah. There we go. I love uh, the arrows in this game. Or like, bowmanship. Yeah. This is such a cute little town. What the hell? <gasps> oh, I found Hateno Village finally! Yeah. Alright, let's do the shrine. Let's do the shrine. Scoop it out. Excuse me. Wait, is there like a spot that I'm supposed to connect it to? So this has to move. Is there something upstairs? Whoop. Ah, nice, man. So this clearly has to be moved around, which means I need to get electricity, but I need to build a scoop out of these, I imagine, right? see if that works. Now, to generate electricity, I need a connector. Is it upstairs? I need to take a little peek around here. It is nice to have your oats and stuff ready in the morning. Hook! <laughs> 
wonder if these guys connected. doesn't appear to be it. Okay, so I need something metal. <clears throat> Mason jars are good. So are oats and berries and all that fun stuff. I'm not even sure that's gonna work. Uh, metal connector. And there's nothing outside? Yeah, I like oats. There's nothing over here? Ugh. See, I generally like my coffee very hot. can go up. Is there a spot I can- Ah, oh, it doesn't look like it. I was gonna say, is there a spot I can go up that's kind of like secret? Maybe? Perhaps? Doesn't really look like it. Hey, yeah, bridges. I drink my coffee cold, but I do prefer it hot. How do I connect these? That's the question. Or do I have to move? I don't know. I feel like I'm supposed to connect these. Wait. That might just be for decoration. Wait, what disconnected? I need that. <laughs> Alright, so I definitely need a way to connect these.
Or do I just... <laughs> or do I do the unthinkable and just build an absolute fucking ball mountain? I could build a ball mountain. <laughs> Hold on a sec. I just have to get it tall enough that I can reach it from upstairs. your funny solutions. Turns out noodles go through you quick. I'm sure there is underneath all the balls, Shell. I don't have time for that. Oh, it's about to be sunny! Hold on, I want to wait for the sun so I can see this place in its full glory. <clears throat> oh, man. Oakvale was such a nice place. Oh. Lovely here. Hmm. 
break. <laughs> Just do that. Oh my god. Could you imagine growing up here? Could you imagine that this was where you lived? Oh my goodness. This is amazing. Ah, I feel like my, uh, my <laughs> way of solving that was the most boring. Ah, yes, what is it? Oh, it's you, Link. I haven't seen you in- Oh, Link! You're back! Uh, my apologies for the outburst. Clearly you're back in town, then. But what about Princess Zelda? She gone. <sighs> oh, Princess Zelda's still missing. Which is the reason you came here alone. That makes more sense. Princess Zelda built this school, you see. She cared so much about the children. I'm sure this would be one of her first stops if she had returned. Ah, right now we're covering history, which was very important to Princess Zelda. Her focus on Hyrule's history alongside the Calamity. You know, Link, you're welcome to sit in on a lesson if you'd like. Yeah. Class is in the morning until noonish, so please stop by the classroom on the first floor. It's so lovely. Wow, what a place. <laughs> hey, they're smart enough. <clears throat> oh, well. Oh! It's the bomb diggity. down here that I can Buddy. <clears throat> well, that's cute. Look at falling builds care. Look at look at me? Because I fall? Sometimes? Occasionally? Occasionally I have a little stumble. A little whoopsie doodle. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, how the hell do you get through those?
Doc, can you just go ahead and attack me, please? Weird. That's it. <coughs> Are arcade machines still a thing in the world? I haven't really seen arcades in a while. I've never been into like arcade games for the most part. people like arcades. I don't know, I'm just not... I've never really been big on arcades. Didn't PewDiePie do that? I'm pretty sure PewDiePie did that. He's got an arcade closet that's just a computer that has a bunch of arcade games in it. Pretty sure that PewDiePie made um oh! made an arcade in his house. Frickin' hate these guys, man. Actually, hold on. So much. Frozen slab of animal meat. If you can manage to chew it up and swallow it, you'll restore some hearts and lower your body temperature. Huh. Interesting.
Lots of stuff down in this well, huh? <laughs> nice. Got him. Little fucker. Alright, anything else up here I need to get? That doesn't look like it. <clears throat> Alright, let's get this chest, I guess. Yep. Shield of the mind's eye, huh? Eh, whatever. Fuck it. Not like I use shields. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh no, are we gonna be stopped here? I think we are. Ed Sheeran as well? Yeah, eh? I can't go through, I guess. <sighs> guess we better go up! Huh? See where we end up. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's convenient. <coughs> Cute little town. What? Huh? Ah, oh, as I've said multiple times now, I can't admit three customers at present. Huh? What do you mean? We took the trouble to come here and now you're saying we can't get in? I wanted to see Cece's new stuff. It's not every day a mega famous fashion designer debuts a new material. Mm. Yeah. Everything I heard said this was some of Cece's best work. Oh, I'm so, so sorry, but we only have one entry ticket remaining. Mm. One ticket? So you're saying one person could go in? Aww. Hey, come on now. We can't let just one of us get a head start. Ah! Sure, I, I know that. It, it was uh, just a joke. Oh, oh well. Maybe if we come back later, they'll have room for all of us. <clears throat> ah. Yeah. It's not like the only thing, the only clothing in this place in this village. What do you say we kill some time at the dye shop? Oh! oh or we could check out the pasture. <laughs> Speaking of which, I heard there's a little ways up the road from the pasture is a laboratory specializing in ancient stuff. Ah. Since we got all dolled up, we may as well hit the town and see it all. I could go. Uh, in. Thank goodness they gave up. Hmm? Oh. oh my, I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Are you also a tourist who's come to see my sister's, uh, I mean the new line of Cece's products? Oh. As long as it's just you, you're free to go into the shop. 
Cece herself is in there right now, in fact. Nothing you'll see is for sale. It's only an exhibition right now. Sorry to disappoint. <coughs> True that, Bridges. <clears throat> no. Oh, another practically perfect masterpiece. It's an exemplar of the, of the form from every angle. This is the sort of thing on which I've built my name and reputation as the world-renowned Cece. <laughs> Uh -huh. Oh, pardon me. Are you an admirer here to meet the incomparable Cece? Huh. I must say, you don't seem to show any sort of interest in fashion. Oh. Welcome to Ventist Clothing, the only boutique in the world which carries the Cece brand. And if you weren't aware... <laughs> no. You stand before the very woman who changed this fuzzy old village into the birthplace of nouveau fashion. As proof, I present you this. No. The Cece hat. The newest and most magnificent work by yours truly, Cece. <clears throat> <clears throat> Do you see that luxurious curve? Do you note the avant-garde, blah blah blah, wouldn't you call it the pinnacle of perfection? This piece is so special, I dare not assign a price to it. It's not for sale. I shall only part with it when I find someone truly worthy of owning it. Ah! Only the most impressive fashionista in Hyrule's trendiest village is worthy of such a crown. Thanks for the volo. What's this about Hyrule's trendiest village? I don't remember improving any new slogans for Hiteno. Oh. oh, look who's here. What can I do for you? Zero esteemed Mayor Reed. Uh, I'm really sorry. I tried to stop him from coming in like you asked, but he wouldn't take no for an answer. Mm. Sissy, you have got to quit littering the village with your weird art pieces. Maybe you don't realize, but plants need their sleep, too. Those eyesores are so bright at night that they're keeping the veggies awake. It's a real problem for the crops. Hateno's foundation is its produce. So what are we going to do if it fails? Ah, uh, now, now, dear. There's no need to get so worked up. I think some of the people here actually like her art, you know. Wouldn't it be better to hear her out? <clears throat> don't fall for her line of twaddle. She's got everyone in Hateno wrapped around her finger already. My duty is to look after the village, and that's what I mean to do. Uh huh? Look after the village, you say. Who do you suppose you have to thank for Hateno's rejuvenation? <clears throat> it didn't need rejuvenating. Hateno Village is a peaceful place where folks live quiet lives, and that's the way they like it. <laughs> Do they? Then let us leave the matter to the people to decide. My avant-garde approach versus this mayor's quaint bygone ways. The citizens will decide which outlook will drive the future of the village. No! By holding a mayoral election. <laughs> You're calling for a mayoral election? Sure. Uh, sure. Suits me. I'll win that pretty easy. Oh. Uh? Sophie, I delegate management of the mayoral election to you. Eh? What? <clears throat> Come on, Clavia. I don't feel like sticking around here any longer. It's time we head back home. Oh. There's no time to waste. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm on the fucking mayor's side. Whoa! <clears throat> oh my god, I died on her house, too. That's actually really funny. Mm -hmm. Love, love's fire burns forever. Well, oh. oh, what's the matter? You can tell me, weirdly handsome dude. You look like you've been places. 
Sure, things are peaceful in the old village, but it's a jungle out there in the world. That's why I stick around here. Checking out the scene. Making sure no strangers put a move on Ms. Ivy. Wait, I, I mean, uh, that's that's why I make sure no strangers come in from outside to disturb the peace. Ah? Oh, you forgot. Miss. Always add the Miss. Miss Ivy is the poster girl for the East Wind General Store. There's no problem if you want to talk to Miss Ivy. Just keep the naive I just moved here and won't somebody show me around act to a minimum. Not that anyone could be as young, guyish, or fashion-esque as me. Ah. By the way, a quick question for you, big guy. What kind of present do you think uh, would make Miss Ivy and East Wind happy? I'm not asking for me, you understand. A friend of a friend wanted advice, and I'm having a tough time with the answer. Obviously, I can't just go ask her directly. Uh, let me know if you think something. Blah, 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 blah. Man, this town is silly. <coughs> Someday, a second store. Huh? Oh, welcome to Kochi Daisha. Right, so you're a new customer, I think? Uh. Well, I, I don't do the dying around here. You want my hubby for that. All this activity is getting to be a problem. I mean, I'm grateful to Cece that our shop has taken off like this, but every day is so exhausting now. Greetings and salutations. <laughs> if you were looking to add some color to your wardrobe, you found the right place. You do you do. <laughs> Welcome to Kochi Dye Shop, where we live to die. If you have dye ingredients, it's 20 rupees to dye an item. That includes our service charge, of course. Let's get going and dye your getup to... <laughs> huh? That's a lovely paraglider you've got there. Nowadays, we only dye clothes. We also offer fabric rework service. Bring me some fabric and I can rework your paraglider with flying colors. <laughs> you may be a first time customer, but that's fine. We have a special introduction to our new service for folk like you. And ta da! Your very own introductory fabric. Oh, I don't want the CC fabric. I don't like CC. <laughs> have you dropped by the Ventist Clothing, the village entrance yet? Cece, the famous designer who runs the place now, cooked up cutting-edge designs on this fabric. Every region has its own unique fabric designs. Keep an eye out for them wherever you go. Think of me if you find a new fabric, won't you? <laughs> I can rework your paraglider with it for you to fly in the skies in style. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Let's see. Don't worry, I'll do all the work. You just hand over the fabric and leave the rest to me. Uh, I kind of like... I like the ordinary one. I'm good. I think I'm good. Great Tan Poo in, huh? Oh! oh, thanks for the follow. My goodness. What a place. This is rather extreme, don't you think? This is a cute little place. Can't he understand? <sighs> oh, I had no idea Wharton could be so stubborn. He was all—he would always humor me before we got married, no matter what I asked. But it'd be so hard for him to wear a simple CC brand hat. I don't understand why he's this dead—why he's this dead set against it. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, uh, can I help you? Oops, I really can't be dwelling on that right now. Not while I'm on the clock. Ah, oh, good morning. We're having nice weather today. Welcome to the Tanfu Inn. Will you be staying with us today? A regular bed is 20 rupees. Ma! 
Okay, bye. Sorry, it's 5.50 a.m. I don't need to sleep. Actually, hold on a sec. I think the mayor's up here then? Wow. Oh, hey! Check it out. This is probably the town hall. There we go. I'll probably get some heart containers after this. Oh, I might only need two or three more. I can't remember. Oh, oh you're the traveler I saw at the Ves at Vestus Clothing, right? Did you come to check up on me because you were worried? Uh. Yeah, I lost my head there a little. Well, I'm not too proud of the way I behaved. But don't you worry about me. I have a couple tricks up my sleeve against Cece. I might not be able to pull one I might not be able to pull one of them off in time for the mayoral election. So I'm focusing on the second plan to bring uh, a taste no one's tried here in years. Ugh. Way back when, my grandfather worked on some worked with someone from the village to create a special kind of food. Hey Jeff! Mr. Trashman, how you doing? <laughs> it was ahead of its time to catch on. Or it was too ahead of its time to catch on, so it never went further than the first trial run. But I never forgot it. Even today, I can still recall the gooey mouthfeel of the one bite my grandfather shared with me. <laughs> hey, you were the one that said you were trashed. In the back of my mind, I've always wanted to make it a signature staple of this village. <laughs> if I could accomplish that, I'd have something that could stand up to Cece. Except, I can't remember who in the village my grandfather worked with or what they created. And now that I think of it, it also has a unique pungent scent. If I could just smell that aroma again, it might jog my memory. Yeah. Oh, but don't worry about my problems. I hope you're having a nice relaxing time in our village. Have you tried the fresh milk they make up at the farm on the hill? I never start my morning without a glass. Oh, he's a milk drinker. Maybe we do choose CC. This is a nice house. Oh my god. I could live in a house like this. I mean, you know, I wouldn't complain. No entry without permission. Got it. <coughs> Oh, well, how you doing, Jeff? Sup? How was your day? Hi. Hey, you're out early. I don't know if you're visiting for the veggies or for Cece, but I hope you had some reason to come all the way here. Well, while you're here, uh, I hope you don't pass up a chance to eat a few of our famous vegetables. Down at the general store, they got them all lined up. Can't miss them. <laughs> Start with the Hylian tomato. Trust me. I know they're good, because I put lots of love into raising them. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah right. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Ah, good morning. Yeah. Welcome to Hiteno Village. Here for some sightseeing? The Eastwind General Store is open for business. If you're here for Hitano Village's famous fresh produce, you're in the right place. Or if you like the super cute Cece hat, ah! you can visit the store across the way, Ventist Clothing. They're featuring a new line of hats right now. Thanks to Cece, this village is the place to be. She's drawing in so many tourists that our sales are going up too. Cece's putting our village on the map. Huh? What do I like? Wow, where'd that come from? Oh. Um. <clears throat> I would nap in this village. 
did grow stuff as the alcohol made its way. Oh no, that's not fun. Mm. Uh, maybe frogs? Sure, why not? I like frogs. If I had a hundred hot-footed frogs, I would be incredibly happy. Oops, I couldn't think of anything, so I just told him what my dad likes instead. Don't tell me how to live. Oh, hi. Oh. Oh. Our Lil East Wind General Store carries all of Hateno Village's local our specialties. Ever since Cece set up shop in this place across the way, Hateno has made a name for itself with its fresh fashion. Before that, though, this was a farming community from way back. We're a self-sufficient Lilburg. We eat what we harvest and sell the rest. Oh. I tell you what, if you haven't, you haven't lived until you tried a bottle of fresh milk straight from Hateno Pasture. <laughs> Head on up to the pasture when you get a minute. You'll be glad you did. And that wraps up the sales pitch, I figure. Oh. Sorry for the song and dance, but uh, I got a business to run. Anywho, oh, you were saying something I could do for you? <coughs> oh. Oh. Death by J Hey, what's up? How you doing, kitty? Hey, hey. Hey. Oof. I don't really want to sell all this stuff, though, in case we visit another fairy. Eh. Oh. Oh. <sighs> oh. Okay, yeah, I'll buy all the arrows. Ha. Oh. <gasps> Pumpkins. Oh. I'm still alive. <gasps> but oh. I'm a cook. I'm a cook all the stuff. Ha. Oh. Get some milk. Oh. The heck is this? Bird eggs? Oh. Oh. Huh. Yeah, no, I'm I'm tired, but I'm really good. Oh, I don't need Ooh. Hylian tomatoes. I have a bunch of those. I've got 42. Oh. Okay, but the but the the carrots, I have none. Oh. Yeah, now I have a lot. Oh. <coughs> oh. Hell yeah. Huh. All right, now I'm poor. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> this creepy motherfucker. Oh. oh. I'm trying not to be rude, buddy, but what were you doing with Miss Ivy from the general store? Sure, I noticed. I've been checking her out for a a long. Uh, I mean, uh, a friend of a friend tipped me off. <clears throat> you went. And asked what Miss Ivy likes? Right to her face? What's the idea? Uh-oh, I gotta play it smooth. Can't let him guess I'm the one dying to know. Alright, well, so what is it then? What does Miss Ivy want? I can't leave my friends hanging. She wants hot-footed frogs? And a hundred of them? At that? Yeah, that checks out. Miss Ivy's love for animals is just one of the many charming things about her. Or so my friend's friend is always saying. Ah, oh, when it was close. Better play it smooth. Still, collecting a hundred hot-footed frogs seems like a big job, even for someone you love. Ah. But if uh, I had the help, you traveler types go into wells and caves all the time, right? That's just the kind of place where you go to find frogs. You don't even have to go far. Didn't I hear about a bunch of frogs in a well somewhere in this village? Maybe I should take a check it out later. What? Oh, I didn't say anything. <laughs> Uh, look, let's focus on how helpful it would be if you gathered ten of those frogs. Wow. Hey, buddy, do I hear the faint croak of little frogs? Yeah, here's some frogs, buddy. <clears throat> One, a two, a three. <laughs> Whoa, ten frogs all accounted for. There, allow me to allow me to take those off your hands. As promised, here's your reward. Mushrooms. Nice. I guess it's up to me to collect the rest. Oh, how I've been dreaming of a date with my beloved Miss Ivy. <laughs> That's why I, Manny, will check every well in sight. Uh-oh. No coming back from that one. Okay. Election season begins? 
Oh. Eh? Look, Amira, someone who forgot to put on his CC brand outfit today. Mm. Get with the times and put on some CC branded clothes already. How else will anyone know your loyalty to CC style? <laughs> CC set up her own CC brand line and provides with fan a fantastically avant-garde, charismatic des des uh, blah, 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 designer. Yeah, sure, we love her. Why, CC's single-handedly set the tone for her Tenno village's whole look. Ah! CC's shop is to the left of the village. Uh, it's the stylish shop with the mushroom clothing decoration. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <coughs> yeah, it is. I gotta find a unique smell. I don't know if it's directly in the village, though. I wanna help the mayor. I want him to win. Oh, another well? Or is this the one I was in? It's a new well! Hate me, everybody. <laughs> Did they just completely blow up, or are they down here? Oh, that might have been too much. What's happening? Oh, I'm blowing up lizards, I guess. I guess they just blew up completely. Oh, I was hoping they would drop into the water dead. That's true, I do still have my face intact. You know, I want chicken tenders. Oh man, you know what I did that's awesome? <clears throat> I bought uh, a fuck ton of noodles. I went to this like Asian grocery store that I don't usually go to. And it turns out that they have an entire aisle that's just completely filled with a bunch of like crazy different, um, crazy different noodles. And so I bought a bunch of them. I don't know what most of them are because none of them are in English. Uh, but there's like some spicy ones and some not spicy ones. One that I had yesterday was um, a like sesame vermicelli. It was so good. And then today, I had, hey Nova, today I had one that was um, uh, black garlic. <coughs> like fermented garlic. And uh, I have a few others. I've got one that's like a clam vermicelli or something. I don't know. There's a, a few. There's a few weird ones, and it's very exciting. Chickens! Oh no, we're not playing that game. I remember the chickens. Oh yeah, I need to reach my friend. Oh. <coughs> Can I just yeah. roll him down the hill? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess I can. It's very efficient. 
We're all about efficiency here. <coughs> Stretch? Alright, hold up. <laughs> there we go! <laughs> Glad to be of service. <laughs> All right. Anya? Anya? Oh, you get... uh, uh, All right. You too, Jeff. You've also got a stretch. Uh. A concussion? I mean, he's a plant yeah. thing. So probably not, I think. I've decided he's fine. So it's all good. Oh, two of my cacti are flowering. It's very exciting. doing well. I <laughs> broke the cute fair. I don't know. I haven't been on Twitch in a while. Yeah, I'm streaming here, but I just use Streamlabs. I don't really watch stuff on Twitch, if I'm honest. Alright, uh, give me one second, actually. I'll be right back. I just need to run to the bathroom. Um, so, just one moment. <laughs>
Uh, thanks, Shell. There you go, kitty. Ugh. Oh, actually, give me one sec. Whoop. Okay, um, so I have two thoughts. One, I want to go... Oh. I want to move. Oh, that was weird. It wouldn't let me move. Oh. Is this a trap? No, these things are leading me all over. Anyways. <clears throat> so. I want to go to that island. Oh, good. A bow. Oh. Oh, was there? Uh, you gotta help me out. I was out fishing when I got caught in a storm. I had, I had run into a nearby cave shelter. Just when I was starting to dry off, this big rock came down and trapped me in here. I've managed to get some bright bloom seeds through the gap into the water as a sort of marker. If I'm lucky, the seeds will blossom and the tide will take this later uh, and flowers to the shore. So if you're reading this, it must have worked. So whoever you are, I've got a favor to ask. Oh, thanks for the follow. Follow the trail of bright blooms back to this cave and get me out of here. It'd be a real help. <clears throat> okay. Bright blooms, huh? Damn, man. Uh, so that's a battery. <clears throat> I want to go to that. Oh, there's a baddie there. <clears throat> okay, so they're in a cave. There's bright blooms. I don't know where the breath. That's a. Wait. That's a pretty horse. A bluish chest? Oh. Oh, you know, it might have been a piece of, of the sky. Oh, we probably have to get to that island. Okay, I have an idea. Oh, yeah, I got the golden horse, so it's whatever. So what I want to do... I want to get to that sky tower, right? And then I'm going to get to that island. I want to try and do that tonight, okay? 
I've got a half hour left. I can I can extend it potentially to another hour, but I'm gonna try and get it done in a half hour. So let's go. <coughs> I'm very blasé, that's true. I am despicable. I don't really ride horses though, you know? Not in this game. I'm a, an on foot kind of person. And you know, <laughs> there are so many games where I'll run around on foot and people are like, why aren't you riding your horse? Why aren't you riding a mount? Why are you just running around on foot? Why aren't you playing the game the way I want you to play the game? Why aren't you playing it the way I play it? Oh, the way I play is superior to the way you play, obviously. Wait a second. If we go into this cave, and we go deep into it, then not only can we find the froggy guy... Oh. Hold on a second. Then we can go up. That, and I feel like I miss more stuff when I'm riding on a mount. You know? I just kind of prefer to run around. Because when I ride on a horse, that's when I'm really trying to go from point A to point B. You know? There's the motherfucker. I still haven't played Diablo 4, so I don't really know much about it. It's wackadoodle bopping time. Does the trick. There's all sorts of cool shit going on here. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. A giant one. Oh, well, that's convenient. Yeah. <laughs> 
We might not actually be able to get to that guy. We've been up here before. Oh, it's cold as heck. We might not be able to get up there. Spicy! I'll eat it. I don't know if we can get up there, but we're, I'm gonna try. Hey, beautiful! God, they're cool as hell. It's such a cool creature. Are we supposed to kill them or or no? I don't even know. I don't even want to attack it. It's so beautiful. Hey, gorgeous. I did that one a long time ago. Fuck, man. I don't even know if I can get up there. I'm gonna try, though. What a cool-ass motherfucker. Damn, dudes. Now we wait, I guess. <sighs> oh. oh, this is... Oh. There's a sparkly star over there. Sucks needing to eat that. Oh man, I think it's all ice there. There might be a way up, but I might. Oh shit, hello. Devout swordsman who offers his prayers. Hear my plea. I can no longer sense the presence of the Mother Goddess statue which dwells in the vast canyon. I would ask you to go to that land and bring tidings to me of the Mother Goddess statue. 
Please, I beg of you. I will. First, I gotta find a way up here, though. <coughs> Please don't be broken. Please don't be fucking broken. Oh, cool. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, cool! Oh. Worth it. Let's fucking go! Come on, I want to go to that we that place. Come on. <laughs> Geoglyphs? Oh, there's that place too. I've been to that one. Shield. <laughs> What's going on here? Okay, uh... 
So right now I'm facing. Okay, um. <laughs> That's a new geoglyph. Um, I think? Is it? Oh. Oh. That might be a new geoglyph over there. Oh, oh wait, no, no, no. That's the rest of the sword. Never mind, I'm an idiot. Which means... I actually want to get back down to there. So let's see. If nothing happens when I get through here... It's a timed thing. I hate that. <laughs> I really don't like timed stuff. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, I'm just gonna go back to the other place and go to the island. I'm not good at timed stuff. I'll be honest. I'm just not good at it. Wait, is this even the right way? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much what I was thinking too. A second. You know what? No, let's actually go here. And I'll go up, 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 up. And we'll figure it out from there. that one, but then there's also this one. <clears throat> oh, fairies. I gotta get some fairies. <coughs> He's good. Or sorry, not scoops. Shadow steel. My bad. Hey, shadow steel. <laughs> My bad. I was gonna call you scoops. You're not scoops. You're shadow steel. My brain doesn't always work though. Get your ass back here, fairy. <coughs> Yeah, you have to sneak up on him. Hmm. I only 
probably need very minimal. Yeah, that should be fine. But the thing is, is that you're squatted over, so you have to wait for them to fucking get down on your level. Got him. It just kind of seems like I'm going down, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, if you die, a fairy saves you. <coughs> Precisely. remember where it was that we actually were at that spot. <coughs> I think it was over here? Oh yeah, that's fine. I don't mind crashing them. Uh -huh. I believe it's over here. Yeah, it is over here. I mean, I don't know who they're gonna fall on. thing worked. Okay. Cool. So, we gotta get over there. Which means we have to build a device. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now we'll see what works. It works. I guess we're just heading on out then, huh? <clears throat> What's over here? Are you a baddie? What is this? Oh, there's baddies out here. Can I have swam? I don't really think so, to be honest. That would have expelled way too much uh, energy, I think. I might have gone too far. It might have actually been back there. Oh well. I want to go to this island regardless. Are we there yet? No. <laughs> I don't know. I've got my own portable batteries, which helps, but, you know. <sighs> he does have armor. Yeah, he does. Oh! Rude! <laughs> Mister, you must have a death wish to make your way to this island. You've heard the rumors, right? They say this this is where pirates, the pirates that attacked Lurelin Village hide out. I mean, I, I sure don't want to be here, but I'm on a mission to locate the pirates' hideout for the monster control crew. From what I've seen, this island has three monster strongholds. Hmm. I do think the pirates' hideout is somewhere on this island. I can't do a thorough search with these strongholds in my way. <sighs> I want to finish my scouting and go home already. If only those monster strongholds weren't there. Oh. <clears throat> that sucks, man. Hip. Let's see if there's a way to warp up here. Because if there's a shrine out here, which there should be, and if so, it should reward me just for getting here. Million 
Millions of nanners. Nanners for me. Millions of nanners. Nanners for free. Don't look at me. I have a mighty need for bananas. No, 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 bananas. I love bananas. They're so good. <laughs> Don't look at me. Don't you fucking look. Okay, there we go. That's what I fucking thought. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I think there was a chest there that dropped. Oops. All this stuff just it's it's so much <laughs> Fucker. Damn, dude. All right, well, we got one. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I deserve that. <laughs> A frost emitter, huh? All right, there was a chest, right?
Did I, like, just blow it absolutely fucking sky high? <clears throat> I don't even- Oh, tar pit! Ugh. Oh, I don't want that. Alright. Where's the next stronghold? Oh, speaking of which, I actually need to um, hunt. Oh, fuck. Oh, it was the bulls. Motherfuckers. <coughs> Yeah, that's right, you can't see me. <coughs> Stupid. I guess we'll deal with these guys first. Oh, I could have grabbed that arrow. Oh well. Owie! Wowie! Oh, speaking of which, clothing. I should probably wear better clothing. That's right. Where am I? Where did I go? Where did I? It's a big fucking mystery. Oh. Hold on. Uh, let's do- maybe defense up? Do I have any more defense up? Or is it all... Oh! Alright. Oh, I don't have a weapon. Alright, hold on. Uh... Got him. One more. Oh, shoot. Oops. Okay. 
Is there like another guy over here or, or what? Inside the cave? Maybe he just fell down the side. That's annoying. <clears throat> oh, there you are. I think? You just kind of disappeared. Did you respawn over here? Where'd you go? There's one more? Oh, come on. Clearly hurt, so I fought him. Is he down here? There you are. Got him. setting if I had to start again. I don't know if I, I might have to do all three of them in a row so I'll do the third one I guess and then I'll head out. Oh there's already springs over there. Oh well whatever. <coughs> it's time to go some fucking mayhem. Worked out a little better than I thought it would. Oh, I'm already underneath it. Wow, that went a lot better than I thought it would. <clears throat> yep. Wow. Oh, 
Actually, I'm gonna cause some problems. Come on. Yes, I did. It seems to be a lot of fun. <coughs> Baked apples. I've never... I've certainly made them before. Oh, I see. Go, dudes. We did it. Uh, yeah, I need meat, actually. So I actually did, uh, <laughs> need to kill him. Mm -hmm. oh, the island seems so much more tranquil. Could it be? You cleared out the monster strongholds? All three of them? Oh. Oh, you're amazing! Oh, you don't even know how big of a help that is. Perfect timing, too, since I just saw a pirate ship coming in. Strange. As soon as it went around the rear side of the island, the ship disappeared. Hmm. So where did it go? It probably went into there. Maybe the pirates really do have a hideout on this island, and that's where the ship disappeared too. But that would make it the monster control crew's duty to find it and eradicate them, not just scout things out. Ah. Oh, I can handle one or two enemies, but that sounds like, uh, more. Uh... God, I'm so nervous I'm frozen on the spot. Do I retreat or do I locate the hideout and do I try to find fight the pirates by myself? Oh god. What should I do? Do I have to? Alright, we'll do that tomorrow. I gotta go. Unfortunately. Double save out of anxiety. <sighs> <sighs> oh well, thank you everybody for chilling. I appreciate it. I had a lot of fun tonight. Now I'm gonna go eat food, cause I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, Static. Yeah, for sure, for sure. No, oh, I'm glad you could pop in, too. I've been, uh, a busy individual, to say the least. But busy on stream. It's one of those things that I'm also playing lots of video games. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,